Steve Jewin here for MMAmania.com, and for the full results of tonight's card, go to tinyurl.com slash bellator127recap. But here's a quick summary of what happened on the televised portion. Daniel Strauss needed under a minute to knock out Justin Wilcox. 50 seconds to be exact. Strauss was just devastating. Wilcox was flying around, trying to land anything, flying knees, just hoping he could hit Strauss, but Strauss just stood and delivered a left that crushed him. He went face down, was on his knees, was not defending himself. Big John McCarthy waved it off. It was over. Fernando Gonzalez had equal success against Carl the Heat Parisian and put the heat to him at 143 of the first round, just firing shot after shot on the ground, and Parisian turtled up and put his hands over his face, and that was all Mike Beltran needed to see. Then in the second fight to televise on Spike, Rafael Silva and Rob Emerson went the distance. Silva won 30-27 and 29-28 times 2. EJ Stu's takedowns over and over and over and over and over, and there was nothing Emerson could do about it until the third round when Silva got a little bit tired and he started to fire off some shots and make a comeback, but still, he could only win one round with two of the judges, so Silva takes the unanimous decision. The opener saw Kendall Grove take Christian Mpumbu to the second round and submit him at 4-14 with a rear naked choke, and... It was pretty impressive because he only had one hook in at the time and still went for it. So Grove looked like a beast and said he proved something, that he wasn't a stepping stone, and he was coming for that belt. That's your report on Bellator 127. Again, for the full results, go to tinyurl.com slash bellator127recap.